Austin Pearson versus Jamie Hatton. Okay, he did tell me in the past he's had uh, challenges and trouble in the grappling and getting up and, and staying calm and composed. So that is a very big thing that he's working on in this particular fight is composure, patience, discipline, as well as uh, his ability to get back up. That was a big kick. Massive body kick there by Austin. How did Austin know he was going to be in the blue corner to dye his hair blue I with the blue shorts? Don't know, but he's got a nasty body lock here. That's tight, and he just imposed his will. And Jamie brought. gave his back up. Austin doesn't want it, though. Oh, he's doing a great job of getting right back up. Oh, right back down. Action Beautiful. right in front of us. Beautiful trip. We could see a little short elbow right here, Pearl. Potentially. Um, Austin doing a great job of tying the legs up here, which is mm. what is keeping Jamie down. Jamie's got to get that bottom leg out. Once he gets that bottom leg out, he can start to work to get to his feet. But he's got to pull that leg out. He's got a really good, uh, Austin has really good far side grip here, far side control on that wrist. I see uh, Jamie's oh, working yeah. on. Um, He's working on a Kimura. Yeah. But he let it go. Nice oh, little elbow. Threw an elbow there. There we go. Two of them. And that was beautiful because it forced Austin to let right. go of that lock. That was great. So far, Jamie is doing what he said he was going to do, is stay composed here. I feel like that uh, short elbow is there for Jamie right now. It is, but see, the problem is is the leg right now. The leg, Austin right. has that leg, right. and that leg is what's keeping him twisted in this position here. He's got the, the hips stacked right now, so there's not much Jamie can really do. Maybe a short elbow, but more ideally, he's got to mermaid that leg, that bottom, the shim, shimmy that leg, and get it free to get up. No, you said mermaid. I got you. <laughs> I got you. You're on that Disney Plus. <laughs> I got you. You know, he's keeping his leg in, and that's that's what's keeping him in this twisted right. position. There he goes. He's got to free that leg. But now, with Austin being in this dominant position for two, two and a half minutes of this round, I definitely winning, but would you want him to, yeah, there you go. He, let's, let's see him throw a little bit more action I would want to see on top here. Well, I think that um, he had great success on the feet, too. I just think that it, this is a very big moment. And in these moments, I, I could see it in his face, the way he's grimacing. Like, it, they're big. And so you just grab and you control. And you want to be in control of every second of the fight and not allow for things to kind of play out. Um, and you work that out. This is what we're here for. This is why right. the amateur, this is why you have an amateur career, is to work these little things out. But he did a fantastic job in this round of stacking the hips. Yeah. I thought he did the best out of a bad situation. I agree with that. And he did a good job of getting, from, for being controlled, for not taking a lot of damage. He's got a fantastic leg kick. I mean, a body kick. Oh, nice little head kick there. Again. But Jamie's doing the right thing. Nice guillotine that's set in here. Let's see if he can lock it up. Oh. Nope. Austin on top, in control. Nice short elbow. Ooh. Jamie has a couple. Looks like has some sly submission attempts, but doesn't, I feel like doesn't go for it all the way, doesn't commit. It's hard when you've got someone that's so strong. He, I mean, Right now, Austin is holding with all of his force here, trying to hold him in position. Right. Um, and Jamie's got to keep doing what he's doing, shimming, twisting his hips, um, hip heisting, switching hips to create some space, maybe get some butterflies in here, butterfly guards, and create some frames to create some distance. But he also, I believe, wants to be in this position. I, as we talked yesterday to right. him, he wants to work on his grappling. And that's been a big part of his camp, uh, this, this particular fight camp. He's doing the right things here. He's trying to set up a Kimura, um, being on his side like this. 
Went for the guillotine, tried for an arm. I mean, he is trying to utilize his uh, jujitsu, but at some point you do have to realize whether someone is susceptible or is shutting down your jujitsu and controlling you. I thought that was a great call by the ref to stand them up. Wow. Big pop from the crowd here at Pensacola Base Center. Nice straight left there by Austin. Back to Russellville. Past the knee here. Jamie's going for that left arm. If he can pull it off, it's amazing, but I, I understand this position very well. I too had a good arm, a good Kimura attack from this side. You can get to the back from it. Um, you can utilize it to sweep. There's a lot of things you can do with it, but it also leaves you susceptible to being controlled and losing rounds. And that is an interesting, you know, risk play, reward. Risk reward. You have to know whether or not it's working or it's not. And I, I think at this point it's not. Right, right. He's, he's got to try something Ooh. else. The guard, you know, he's given rounds at this point. Yeah, you got to assume right now he is down 0-2. Are we just trying to be like, hey, let's not get taken down this round. Are we trying to build him up for future fights? You, you, you definitely, it's a do or die situation. You want to go out there. You, he should have been told he needs a finish. He's got to go get a finish, and he's got to come for it. He's got to stop this takedown, which he's having a very hard time dealing right. with. Um, but at the same time, I asked him what he's working on, and the number one thing that he continuously said was composure. And right now, I see that. He's working on his composure. And if there's anything he can take away from this fight, uh, because I'm sure he's going to be very critical of his performance, is that he did do there. Now he's starting to get back up. He's on a leg. He's up. There we go. That was beautiful. That was a great adjustment in the third round. Ooh. Nice now Jamie's on, on top. top. Nice job on top. Let's see if he can find his finish here. Back up. Nice outside leg kick there by Jamie. Ooh. Austin did not like that right. No, Jamie sees. Jamie understands right now what is happening, and the tides have turned. He's got a, a long minute and 35 seconds left of this fight. He's got to get a finish, though. He cannot... You cannot stay here. A beautiful scramble from Austin to get on top here. Austin is an absolute machine with the wrestling. Just a great awareness of control and ability to control in this fight here and shut down the jujitsu and shut down the hips of Jamie and really impose his game plan here. Less than a minute here, Jamie has to create some space here, has to create some urgency to find this finish if he wants to win this fight. Oh, Ooh. there it is. Oh, wow. great job. <laughs> Good sprawl right there by Jamie. He's making adjustments. He's making adjustments in this fight. Nice, nice dig for underhooks there. Yeah, definitely Jamie's best round. But yeah. Austin still... Great cardio, great pace. Kid just never stops. Great performance there by Austin Pearson. And Jamie, I'm, my hats go off to Jamie. Jamie made the adjustments later in that fight. He stood composed, uh, he, he was patient. He did, he did a lot of great things in here tonight. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for these young men inside the ring?
Excellent work, gentlemen. Thanks for the fight. After three rounds, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. The scores are 30-27, 29-28, and 30-27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, from the blue corner, Austin Pearson. I am here with your winner, Austin Pearson. Austin, fantastic fight tonight. Was there anything in this fight that surprised you? I uh, knew he was gonna be a good striker. Uh, I just wanna give a shout out to my coaches over here. Jonathan Jackson, Joshua Weems. My buddy Jeffrey in the corner, Ethan right here, my whole team at Bike Sales MMA, Johnny Little, James Moore, Caleb Harris, Dustin the Puma. We're all warriors here in Mississippi. We're not no dumbasses. We come here to fucking fight. We need to get our paychecks. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Fantastic performance. Ladies and gentlemen, you're